Welcome back everyone, Toysh is here, and I am back yet again to give you guys another news update. It's basically Masters of the Universe Day. Everything was Motu. We got new cartoons to talk about on Netflix, we got new action figures, we got hot sauces. It, it all ties in, right? Somehow, some way, but yeah, the, today was quite an event, and it was really fun to kind of see all the new stuff coming. Finally, right? Kevin Smith, he's been teasing this for quite some time power con they revealed it they've been going back and forth here's the theme song here's this here's that now we finally get to see what the actual cartoon looks like so that is very cool but before we get into that let's just say this there are some other he-man masters of the universe figures hitting and coming as well so we got the buzz saw hordak which for me that is again he-man is just so crazy I absolutely love it. But, yeah, the new Buzzsaw, he was found in Target stores. And shout out to Retro Rigs on Instagram. They found it in Modesto, California. And then soon after that, everyone was like, oh, yeah, I found it here, found it there. So it's hitting quite heavily uh, in sporadic places all over the U.S. DPCI 0871655586. And, again, I always say Brickseek, Pop Finder, not really working. Also, Target's kind of gotten wise to the whole collector avenue. So... You know, it's quickly turning into you have to go in the store to really find what you're looking for and good luck given numbers. But hey, you know what? Never hurts to try. So definitely keep those in mind. And then also the newest wave of Masters of the Universe is starting to hit EB Canada. So way up Canada way. That's a picture courtesy of Michael S. from the Facebook page Canada Masters of the Universe Collectors. And yeah, wave five. All the great characters of that, even one from the Lords of Power PowerCon box set, you know that they're they're doing that. So if you missed out, at least you get a little second round, hopefully, to get some. Especially me, because I did not get them. PowerCon 2021. This is the big one. These are very cool, very cool exclusives. I have to give them this all day and reasonably priced so if you're wondering these are going to go up for pre-order this coming weekend so just get ready and you know hopefully they don't go too fast but uh, yeah may 15th is when they start going up so we got the motu origins faker two pack which is cool comes with an orange singulum miltair and a havoc staff that's with a question mark this is all from PowerCon. it's a little write-up from mattel and then he has his own beast that's the uh, duplicate, which is amazing. Again, it's so ridiculous. I love this He-Man stuff. I'm just getting He-Man with the He-Man Origins. And they are not disappointing, that's for sure. So these, this uh, two-pack is going to cost you 60 bucks, plus shipping and handling, plus hopefully not like a, a pass to PowerCon. Hopefully they just do it. You can pre-order this if you want it. That's, yeah, I'm definitely going to be getting it. Also, I should be on the press uh, covering the PowerCon for this year. So, um, yeah, maybe I'll see some of you guys there. And then uh, Motu Origins Horde Multipack. This one, let's be honest, it's a little pricey. 150 bucks. Yeah, that's a little bit much. But, it's it. see, that's the trade-off. It's a Comic-Con, technically kind of, like, exclusive... You're paying for that. That's that's really it. Nothing can stop the evil horde that goes for the awesome figure variants. So most likely, they haven't specified yet. Maybe wait until this weekend to find out verbatim. But um, we probably will see most of these in the regular He-Man line uh, later down the line. So you're also paying to have them first. Think of it that way. This uh, Masters of the Universe Origins 4-pack will contain Blue Skin Hordak, Dark Rizzler, a Crimson Horde Trooper, and a Shadow horde trooper and i mean they're cool looking i would just rather have the robot cat let's be honest but this one this is the one where i'm like yeah this is definite because i just got the castle gray skull this is cool to me do more of this because you're adding to the castle so the third one is a secrets of gray skull accessory pack this one's 30 bucks plus shipping and handling so it's not too hard to swallow now that fans have the outstanding Castle Grayskull, Mattel expands upon it to make it even better. This pack comes with the castle's humanoid robot, which is cool because, right, I put together the castle, you know, some time ago now. It was like a cardboard in the original one. Now it's an actual figure. So that is a very cool upgrade. I'll give them that. Then you get a 3D dungeon grate that includes a tentacle. I totally dig that as well. 
and the spirit of Castle Grayskull, which I have just been saying that it's, <laughs> you know, the the ghost guy. What's his name? What's his what's the these accessories are a must-have to complete your Castle Grayskull. Yeah, I would say so. So again, May 15th, all the pre-orders are going to go up. Make sure you get it. Also, shout out to artist for He-Man. This guy, he is just, he's the guy for unloading all this new He-Man stuff. So go follow Axel Jimenez on Instagram. He is killing it. So he showed off the packaging and the new Wind Raider, right? It's assault lander vehicle. Wings and tail move. Has a grappling hook and a winch. Carries He-Man on a surprise raids. And yeah, it, I mean, it's a big vehicle. It's cool. It comes with a stand. I definitely dig that. Supports it. Awesome. It's He-Man is wackadoo. So I'm having fun with it. It's the first time collecting it, like I said. So it's all new to me. But today, Netflix, right? They're like, hey, guess what? Remember, we have a cartoon coming. So this is He-Man, Master of the Universe, Revelation. It's a sequel series to the Filmation one. They've kind of built it as they're gonna they're gonna keep with the how it ended in that sense, but then it's quickly gonna go off and be its own thing. So it's a cool bit of continuity. It's gonna be laid out in two parts. The first part is going to be five episodes. So I mean it's a decent amount of episodes, I would say, for the first bout. July twenty third is when part one or season one premieres, and then season two, part two, whatever you want to call it will be at a later date. So five episodes. And it looks great. They did tout it originally way back when. It's like an anime series. It looks very anime. It looks like how Netflix does most of their cartoons. I would say like Castlevania. By the way, Castlevania season, what, 52? The newest one dropped today. I think it's season four. I'm excited about that. I actually really got into that show. All the characters look interesting. Again, be, uh, kind of collecting He-Man origins, very different looking, but at the same time, very interesting. So, as I have no affinity, now you have to understand, I'm looking at this as going like, okay, I, I'm i good with it because I'm looking at it with fresh eyes. A lot of people have yeah thrown up like, well, this is this, this is that. So, yeah, you're going to meet a lot of that with any project. But for the most part, I would say personally, it looks interesting. I'll definitely be checking it out. And I think my favorite photo is definitely the uh, Beast Man. That He looks great. Love the look of that character. And I like the animation style to it. And then, of course, in pure fashion, you got to have toys to come with a new animated series, right? So shout out to the toy book. Amazing, amazing people. Please go follow them. Check them out. Read their book. Everything else. There, the toys people, they were uh, officially granted. They got the first look at the new Mattel He-Man Revelate Master of the Universe Revelations figure. So it's a four-character initial basic assortment. They haven't really released the pricing information. I'm gonna say twenty dollars. It could be more than that, but I'd say you're probably good at the twenty dollar mark. And we're gonna have four core characters. Of course, you got. Moss Man, He Man, Evelyn, and Skeletor. And then Toy Book also showed off the Skelegod, who is. So the, the basic figures, I mean, the, the initial assortment, they're seven inch scale. Skelegod, who is this freaking rad looking thing, right? Obviously, it's Skeletor. It looks like he's got the He Man sword. You know, it's not too hard to figure out. A lot of people were like, tell us about this. What happens? I'm like, I haven't seen the cartoon either. I don't know. <laughs> But it's 9-inch figure, Skelegod, so expect him. He's more of a deluxe figure, probably be more. You know, it's hard to say, maybe in the $30 mark. And then we also have the 14-inch long sort of battle cat, which, yeah, I expect probably around 30 bucks for them. I can't see them being much more than that. Let's just say fingers crossed, hopefully not more than that, but just to take a quick detour south of the border, FYE, they were really nice. They have, they sent me chocolate for Mass of the Universe Italian. Now we're talking about their hot sauces, so set up a nice photo shoot using all the He-Man origins. So you got two different flavors. You got the Habanero Beast Man flavor, and you got the Man-at-Arms Jalapeno flavor. If I'm being completely honest with you, I'm a huge hot sauce fan. I like it. Muy caliente, like... Tasty and muy caliente. These are tasty. They're not hot. These are especially for those that really like He-Man and maybe don't like very, very hot things. 
they both do taste good. I'll tell you that all day. I actually like the jalapeno one better. I think that has more flavor. It tastes better. The habanero, it's just, it's hot sauce. You know what I mean? So I can't go, oh my God, it's going to blow your mind in that sense. But I'll sell it to you in the sense of if you're a He-Man fan or if you want to try something fun, it's not bad price. You get a lot of hot sauce. So definitely check them out. And yeah, you'll have a lot of fun. Make some tacos. Tell me how it goes. That's for sure. To get back into Masters of the Universe, Revelation, to talk about the figures and how they look, I think the pictures are being very misleading. Let's be honest. I hopefully will be having a look at them very, very soon, so keep on the lookout for that. That way, we can see them in detail. However, photos, press, fo- promo photos, things like that, they tend to go mishigash sometimes. So wait till you have them in hand to really give them your thoughts, you know what I mean? But in all honesty, yeah, it's not the most flattering of photos. I'm going to tell you that all day. But with He-Man, you get extra hands, you get the power sword, you get his shield. And yeah, I mean, they look like the characters from the new cartoon show. So I'll give them that. I wouldn't say that the He-Man face... See, it kind of differs between each photo almost, right? From the packaged. and they, So that's what I mean. Wait till you have them in hand to give the exact thoughts But yeah, something maybe in the face is a little bit off. We'll just say that. Just for He-Man. When you get to Skeletor, Skeletor looks really cool, very interesting. He looks menacing, so I definitely like that. I don't like goofy Skeletor. I like, like, he's scary. He's a dude with a skeleton face. He's got to be. So he comes with a pair of extra hands as well. He comes with a different, like, yellow-looking staff it looks almost egyptian if it's something sorry i don't know what it is and then you have his havoc staff which is all like a skull with the the ram horns and stuff so it's not like one solid color it's detailed out and he's detailed out as well looking at the cape i don't know if it's plastic or if it's like a material like a cloth goods i'm hoping it's cloth goods but i can tell you from the photos it doesn't look fantastic but again i'm gonna wait until i have these things in hand to really give you guys my exact thoughts, but he looks menacing, he looks scary, definitely a cool looking Skeletor. Moss Man, he looks good. By the way, the packaging is interesting, right? I would say it suits these. It's very much McFarlane Toys, um, kind of old Mattel DC multiverse in that sense, but it's it's all part of the fun of having you know new figures and stuff like that. So you have the Moss Man, and... A lot of people are saying, like, how could they not be flocked? You can't have an fl- unflocked <laughs> Moss Man, which, I mean, I'll agree with you, but you know, then, you know, it's not going to, the price goes up. Remember what they did with the Origins Panther, but he looks like he comes with a couple pairs of different hands, and then he has, like, like, like Groot or Clayface, you know what I mean? Like an outstretched uh, wood hand, like it's going for you kind of thing. So I definitely like that. Like Carnage, you know? That's cool. Sculpted well, looks cool, different kind of take for what I think about with Moss Man, but I mean, he looks pretty cool, looks menacing. He does, it does kind of take away from it in the fact of like, it's plastic, so the flocking really does add to that character, especially when you see him, but um, yeah, we'll see what happens when you have him in hand. And then finally, we have Evil Lynn. Now, I'm told, because... I, I can't do the He-Man, the old Filmation cartoon. It's just not, <laughs> it's not for me. But, you know, a lot of people are, are, are kind of um, attributing these to the, what, the 200X series. Um, that does look like, it kind of looks like they took the original Filmation, they took that new series and mashed them together to get the best of both worlds. That's really what it looks like. So what, I'm told at the end, um, Evil Lynn starts to go kind of on the good side. That's probably why you see her in the, promo entertainment weekly photos with her standing with everyone so maybe they're going that route but yeah she comes with a lot of different stuff again mike mossman you get a lot of different hands for her which is really nice you actually get a second head portrait you get an un helmeted one you get like a bag satchel kind of thing you get her purple staff longer staff short staff all that kind of stuff so yeah she comes with a lot of different accessories Again, I can't tell you much about Evil Inn, but um, I, that's cool that she's got long hair. I don't think I knew that. So, yeah, it's something different for the for the cartoon show. looks good. If the face, like let's say she has a really nice painted face in the promo photos. If it comes out looking like that, that will be really stellar. So, I do hope that they do that. With Battle Cat, now, 
This is cool. He has the added articulation to his hands that I really wish that the uh, He-Man Origins one did. Just kind of get him in different poses. So he has like ankle rocker, but for the cat, right? <laughs> nice packaging. Nice window box right there. Master Universe Revelation Deluxe. And then you get the Battle Cat. And he looks menacing. He looks good. This is a really nice detailed out Battle Cat. And again, it looks like the promo photo from Entertainment Weekly. So definitely dig that in that sense. Comes with a helmet and he comes with the saddle and you pull that stuff off. And then he's just cringer. So I do definitely dig that. Again, like kind of said with the He-Man Origins Battle Cat, I don't like when you pull the helmet off. You can still see the eyes in the helmet. Because I think it's kind of cool. I wish they could... I don't know, somehow change that, you know, where it's just a helmet, it's, it'd be a pain. But anyways, you get what I'm saying. <laughs> so again, price point, exactly unknown, but I would say probably in the realm of the $30 mark for Battle Cat. And then, I mean, let's be honest, out of all of these, that's kind of what I've been saying for He-Man Origins, to kind of get like the people that are kind of on the fence, put in like a new character, you know what I mean? And this Skelegod thing is freaking rad that is exactly what i want to see i don't know if this is a spoiler or not if it is i mean they just there you go like here's the uh here's the photos he's a deluxe figure again probably like battle cat probably expect him to be around the 30 dollar mark hopefully not much more than that and he comes with a pair of extra fists he looks like he's got he-man's battle power sword right he comes with like a blast effect which is nice and then one heck of a roided out Skeletor, Skelegod. He's got really nice paint all over him. He's got this green, it looks like green plastic uh, between like his neck, like ectoplasm. I'm just going to go with that. And yeah, he looks menacing. He looks like he's got like an owl skull or whatever thing on his loincloth, which, hey, why not, right? When you're a Skelegod, you can do whatever you want. But yeah, really nice detail. The ram horns. It kind of also looks like Skeletor mashed with his Havoc staff, mashed with He-Man's powers. Whatever, doesn't matter. He-Man's bad poop crazy. That's how I likes it. So that really wraps it up for the He-Man day. There's a lot of stuff to talk about, but I'm curious to know what you guys think about everything. How do you feel about the cartoon, the new figures? Are you going to be picking up some hot sauce? Eh, right? How about some He-Man origins in the stores? And just as a heads up for the new Master Universe Revelation action figures, they are said to be hitting in and around June 15th. So coming soon hopefully have them in hand for when the cartoon show hits and thank you again to entertainment weekly for the photos thank you to the toy book for the new he-man revelation photos that they revealed this morning mattel for all the press photos this has been a great day for masters of the universe but i'm gonna leave you guys with that as always drink some great coffee eat some great food but most importantly remember when it comes to he-man toys just make them crazy and we're good and when we do let me know what you found. I'll talk to you guys soon. Adios.